There you are. The revenant that Louis sees so much potential in. I'm Davis. I go around for the Provisional Government as part of the investigation into the depths. Just as a warning, try not to stir up any trouble. If you do, I won't be able to do my job and, well, you get it, right? Looking a bit tired. We can talk again later. Your friend is probably lonely in a place like this. I'll have to say hello to her sometime. All revenants carry some secret with them. Don't do anything funny. I'll be keeping an eye on you until this talk with Louis settles down. Just so there's no confusion, don't cause any trouble, okay? I need to be able to move freely, you see. Nice to meet you. If Louis brought you here, there must be some reason, right? I'm I've got my own reasons for why... I bit tired. We can talk again later. Your friend is probably lonely in a place like this. I'll have to say hello.
I've done what I can to look into your talents, and I've confirmed something surprising. Revenants have blood types that differ from those of humans. These types, however, your blood has no specific type. Or maybe more accurately, your type is broken. Your abilities, and the fact that you have no specific type, might be due to your being what we call a void type. You were able to gain another Revenant's power through a vestige, right? That phenomenon is unique to void types. Supposing you are a void type, there's a test I'd like to perform. Don't worry, you'll get something out of it. I'm going if my theory is correct. It should act as a medium that will give my power to you. Well, here goes. Did you go visit Murasame and Koko? They should be ready to do business now. Weapons and blood veils are vital parts of a Revenant's kit when exploring. You should take another look at them. If you've got materials, upgrade and transform them. Once you've got that settled, talk to me again, and we'll continue where we left off. All Revenants carry some secret with them. Don't do anything funny. I'll be keeping an eye on you until this talk with Louis settles down. Nice to meet you. If Louis brought you here, there must be some reason, right? I'm Rin Murasame. I provide the back home support for all the explorers here. It's a pleasure. I've got my own reasons for why I can't go into combat with you, but I'll provide your weaponry and maintain it for you. Anyway, relax and make yourself at home. Oh, good timing! I've got everything set up now. What do you need? Hmm, thanks. I can probably use this for parts. Upgrade. Which blood veil do you want to upgrade?
I've got just about anything you could want. Even the lost are valuable co I'm not sure you're cut out for business. I'm not sure you're cut out for business. If you want it, I got it. Come again soon. You remember that scene we witnessed at the Vestige? That kind of stuff happens every day here. Silva has taken most of the humans who survived under his protection, so revenants are left to rely on blood beads alone to slake their unending thirst. But, well, nothing in this world lasts forever. The springs started to dry up, and so blood beads grew rarer and rarer. And the order Silva created by levying and distributing blood beads won't last much longer either. The world needs more blood beads. Only then can we strive for fairness instead of petty favoritism. That's why we've been exploring the Jail of the Mists. We're doing research to learn all we can about blood beads. But the miasma has been a real problem. It makes our thirst even worse, so our progress has stalled. Now, though, we have a glimmer of hope. Your power can clear the miasma. If you could help... Help us. Well, you'd be drawn into a bitter conflict. Still, the truth is, we don't have a lot of hope without you. Will you join us? <sighs> Thanks. So, it's a done deal? <laughs> well then, from now on, you're one of us. Yakumo Shinanome. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to seeing you in action. Let's get right into it. Here's what's going on. We're studying blood beads and their springs. We want to know how and when blood springs appear, their cycles for producing beads, and the composition of the beads themselves. We've made a few discoveries. First of all, we found that there are tubes like capillaries running through the earth. We call them blood veins. And so far as we can determine, every single blood spring is located on top of one of these blood veins. Also, after comparing blood beads and blood veins, we now know that they are mostly comprised of the same substances. In other words, we can safely assume that blood springs always form along blood veins. We think that means there must be a source somewhere. A kind of headwaters for the blood beads. Now that we have you around to clear the miasma, we can investigate the springs and follow the blood veins. And hopefully, find the source. Right? We want to check out the old city ruins first. Sorry for the rush, but we should head out as soon as you're ready. <laughs> 